Good evening. This evening we welcome Father Ray Brenner as our celebrant. Our opening song is number 316, As We Gather at Your Table, number 316. Please stand. we gather at your table, as we listen to your word, help us know, O God, your presence, that our hearts and minds be stirred. Nourish us with sacred story, till we claim it as our own. Teach us through this holy banquet, how to make love's victory known. Turn our worship into witness in the sacrament of life. Send us forth to love and serve you, bringing peace where there is strife. Give us Christ your great compassion to forgive as you forgave. May we still behold your image in the world you died to save. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, <clears throat> grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. God, who manifest your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we praise your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to Moses, taking some of the spirit that was on Moses. The Lord bestowed it on the 70 elders, and as the spirit came to rest on them, they prophesied. Now two men, one named Eldad and other Medad, were not in the gathering, but had been left in the camp. They too had been on the list, but had not gone out to the tent. Yet the Spirit came to rest on them also, and they prophesied in the camp. So when a young man quickly told Moses, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp, Joshua, son of Nun, who from his youth had been Moses' aid, said, Moses, my Lord, stop them. But Moses answered him, Are you jealous for my sake? Would that all the people of the Lord were prophets? Would that the Lord might bestow his spirit on them all. The word of the Lord. Reading from the letter of St. James. Come now, you rich, weep and wail over your impending miseries. Your wealth has rotted away. Your clothes have become moth-eaten. Your gold and silver have corroded, and that corrosion will be a testimony against you, 
It will devour your flesh like a fire. You have stored up treasure for the last days. Behold, the wages you withheld from the workers who harvested your fields are crying aloud, and the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You have lived on earth in luxury and pleasure. You have fattened your hearts for the day of slaughter. You have condemned. You have murdered the righteous one. He offers you no resistance. The word of the Lord. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. At that time, John said to Jesus, Teacher, we saw someone driving out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow us. Jesus replied, Do not prevent him. There is no one who performs a mighty deed in my name who can at the same time speak ill of me. For whoever is not against us is for us. Anyone who gives you a cup of water to drink because you belong to Christ, amen, I say to you, will surely not lose his reward. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a great millstone were put around his neck and he were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life maimed than with two hands to go into Gehenna, into the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to sin, Cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life crippled than with two feet to be thrown into Gehenna. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. Better for you to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into Gehenna, where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We know that every once in a while, Jesus exaggerates just a little bit because we know the passage where he talks about hating father and mother and, and children and all that, um, that um, they are least in the kingdom of heaven. He doesn't want us to necessarily uh, hate in the sense that we talk about hate in our lives. Well, today's gospel has one of those instances where he says, you know, if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. If your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. If your foot causes you to spin, sin, you know, cut it off. He doesn't mean that literally, but he says, you know, we need to get rid of whatever it is that keeps us from following God. You know, in, in the days of the Old Testament and in the days of Jesus, uh, to be handicapped meant that someone had sinned. Uh, you know, they asked the one man, said, you know, is it your sin or the sin of your parents that causes you to be handicapped? Well, Jesus says, you know, it's not because of um, either sin. It just happens to be that way. And if any of you happened to watch the uh, Special Olympics, you know, they had, they had him in regards to the... Uh, um, you know, the Olympics, and also they do them with the, like, local. 
handicapped children and young adults, you know that they do not consider themselves handicapped because they can pretty well do most things that others can do. It just requires a lot more effort. And so, you know, we, we hear in our readings today, both in the first reading and in the gospel, that it is the spirit that moves us and the spirit cannot be contained. In our first reading, we heard about uh, Moses where uh, Joshua comes to him and says, you know, these two men, Eldad and Medad are prophesying and, you know, you need to stop them. And he says, you know, whoever is not against us is with us. And so he said, would that all people were prophets. And certainly, you know, the spirit moves in so many different ways, as in Jesus' time too. You know, they say that this man is prophesying in your name. And Jesus says, if he's not against us, then he's for us and do not stop them. And so, you know, we, we look at uh, different programs that St. Mindred has, and, and this is not a St. Mindred Sunday talk. It's just that uh, I happen to be one of the class chairs, which means that um, I have to write a letter to all those who have ever been in my uh, ordination year, you know, whether they went through for ordination or not. Now, it's not maybe as hard as you think it is because, you know, I don't have to write 200 letters and send them out. Uh, I write a master letter and um, then I send it to the development office and they print it, they uh, put it in envelopes and stamp it. They send them that back to me then and I have to sign each one. That's, that's my next requirement. That will happen sometime uh, probably in about November but it's a letter encouraging all those who were ever in my class uh, to uh, contribute to St. Mindred. Uh, last Saturday, I had uh, breakfast with a couple from New York. Um, years ago, he was listed as uh, address unknown in the St. Mindred directory. Well, I knew that when we were in high school that he was from Vincennes because he and another fellow and I uh, ran around together after the Sarah Club gatherings. And so I stopped at the post office in Vincennes and asked uh, if she knew this fella. So she gave me his address. Uh, a couple of years ago, he called me from New York, asked if I would do his brother's funeral in Poseyville. So, you know, it, it, it helps to kind of make some contact at times in those particular ways. But, you know, Jesus says, you know, don't stop this. And it's why St. Mindred um, pushes all these new programs. You know, at one point, you know, they were focused simply on uh, training priests for parishes. But over the period of time, they went to permanent deacons and uh, lay ministries. And they have the one bread, one cup for uh, teenagers. And now they're into... Uh, um, programs for uh, making the liturgy more relevant to even younger people. And so it, it trying to get a point across that, you know, God moves many people in different ways and at different stages in their life, and that we need to all be aware that we are all called to follow Christ, and we are to instill in others that love of Christ and all of his work. Please stand now as we make our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Virgin, conceived under the law, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was Suffered death in the 
Let us pray, gathered as a family united in faith and baptism, let us bring our needs and prayers before our loving God and Father. For the Pope and all who shepherd the church in Christ's name, may the Lord bestow his spirit on them ever more fully. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For leaders in government, may the Lord strengthen them in integrity and courage. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who struggle to put their trust in God, may they be given grace to see his love and goodness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For those gathered here, may we be bound ever more closely to Christ, especially through the mysteries celebrated in this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For all who have died in faith, may Jesus, the Lamb of God, welcome them into the eternal kingdom of the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For Father Phil Kryline, for him this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For all of those intentions that we hold in the quiet of our hearts. God of mercy and justice, hear our prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> The offertory song is number 522, The Eyes and Hands of Christ, number 522. Where two, Where two, two or three are, are gathered in my name, love will be found, life will To become the eyes and hands of Christ. Only become no longer strangers, no longer empty or frail. With the spirit every hunger satisfied, Christ is the center of our lives. Where two or three are gathered in my name, love will be found, life will abide. Oh. 
not what we are, but what we become. Not what we say, but what we do. Living the challenge as bearers of light, we are the eyes and hands of Christ. Where two or three are gathered in my name, love will be found, life will abide. By name we are called, from water we are sent, to become the eyes and hands of brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands and pray in the glory of his name of our family and all his holy church. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. <laughs> He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of grace. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours, now Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us now offer each other some sign of peace. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy to enter into my but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
The communion song is number 395, the servant song, number 395. Number 662, Loving and Forgiving, 662. Loving and forgiving are you. 
church's offering and see the victim whose death has reconciled us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by his body If you are interested in helping with this year's fall festival, paper sign-up sheets are located in the church lobby. Uh, please sign up if you have not already done so. Uh, see the bulletin for information on how to sign up online. Fall festival pre-orders for chicken and dumplings, cake and baked pizzas, and kuchen are due Thursday. The link to online, for, online orders can be found on the homepage of the parish web website and also in the bulletin. We have also inserted the paper forms in this week's bulletin. I'll place your orders today. Our middle school youth group meets again tonight, uh, tomorrow night, a Sunday at 5 p.m. on the soccer field. Uh, join us for Capture the Flag and Prayer. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our sending forth song is number 556, Glory and Praise to Our God. Number 556, we'll do two verses. Glory and praise to our God, who alone is light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways. We, the daughters and sons of him who build the valleys and plains, praise the wonders our God has done in every heart that sees. Glory and praise to our God, who alone is 
this life to our taste. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his grace. In his wisdom he strengthens us like no less tested in fire. Though the power of sin reveals our God is dead to save. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives life to our taste. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways.